My name is Megan Ross and I'm studying a Bachelor of Psychology at Monash University. I graduated in 2019 with an ATAR of 95 and I did two different math subjects. So I did specialist math and math methods. So I had to make two different bound references in one year. So I said I'm going to teach you how to make your own bound reference. Now the first thing we need to think about when making a bound reference is the VCAR guidelines. If we don't follow these we aren't allowed to take our book into the exam and it'll be a bit of a waste of time. So we need to make sure our book is A4 or smaller when closed and we need to make sure that all of the pages are securely attached to the spine. We aren't allowed any perforated pages and we aren't allowed fold outs or sticky notes. If our pages or fold outs or whatever we've stuck in is easily removed we won't be allowed our book so we have to make sure that anything we've stuck into the book is secure and doesn't flap up in any way. Now how to make one? Now I would start off with a 120 to 160 page exercise book, make sure the pages are not perforated. And I would recommend handwriting your notes, as this will be more beneficial. Studies have proven that students who handwrite their notes and write more concise notes, as well as have a better conceptual understanding. People who type their notes have a more superficial understanding and write way too much. Now, please keep your formatting consistent throughout the book. So maybe you'll highlight all your definitions in green and your formulas in red. It's up to you. But keep it consistent so in the exam you don't get confused. So make sure you're looking for like the same colors throughout the book. If you're looking for a definition, you know to look for red. If you're looking for a formula, you know to look for green. Whatever works for you, just make sure you set it up at the start and then keep it consistent throughout. Setting up an index is a great idea. If you have a question about differentiation, you can flip to your index and see which page you wrote about differentiation. Now make sure to start early. You don't want to be making your bound reference the day before the exam. You want to start this off right at the start of the year and you want to be using this in your SACs as well as the exam. Now moving on to what you put in your bound reference. Well, one thing you want to put in is one page summaries. So these are essentially one page per topic. You want to keep this concise. One page isn't a lot of room to write everything in an area of study, but if you can fit it on one page, you'll keep your notes really concise and you'll be able to just see the dot points you need in the exam. So on this page you include things such as formulas, rules, definitions, any keynotes you have and any examples. The next thing you want to include in your bound reference is practice questions. Now previous VCAR questions are the gold standard. VCAR like to repeat certain questions, especially ones that students have done horrible on in the past because they like to see if students have been doing their practice exams. So including those is great. Don't be afraid to include textbook questions or any SAC questions that you had and include step by step working out and point out common mistakes or fundamental steps. You want to know how to do this question if a similar one comes up on the exam you want to look at your practice uh, question and know exactly what to do in the one that you've come across in the exam. The last thing that I would recommend you put in your bound reference is calculator instructions. So these are step by step instructions on how to use your calculator. So make sure you make note of what your calculator should be in, so what mode, is it in degrees, is it in radians? and any steps to troubleshoot. So if you get an answer that looks wrong, maybe go through your steps to troubleshoot or any common areas that you normally have. So this would be common mistakes you make. Now some people use their textbook as a bound reference. I advise against this. If you include all of the things I've mentioned in this video in your bound reference, it'll be way more useful and way more personalized for you. And in making your bound reference, you are studying in a way.